busted 10 myths about programmers that everyone thinks are true. Programmers are skinny dudes with awkward glasses, untidy workspaces, and the worst social skills. If you've ever been asked what your idea of a programmer is, we bet that that was your reply. Programmers are faced with a lot of stereotypes. Many of these were gotten through Hollywood, where they are commonly depicted as people with an unconventional method of existence. In this video, we're going to mention the top 10 programmer stereotypes that people have and try to debunk them. Heads up, we might spoil your fantasies. Programmers are highly introverted. We could certainly blame programmers for giving you this one. After all, who spends hours soaking in all the blue light computers have to offer when others are out partying? Still, this is a very wrong perception of programmers. There are professionals who engage in other activities like hanging out with friends, going on vacation, meeting new people, while being top performers at their jobs at the same time. There is no personality standard for programmers. There are only people who feel comfortable interacting with life and doing their work in a particular way. They have the coolest stuff. This is one place we are going to blame Hollywood. 99% of the movies we watched as a kid up till this point probably featured programmers as the unusually quiet guys who have all the cool stuff. They've got super caring parents who support them and they always have this quirky quality of finding their way around tech. Well, that is not entirely true. While the nature of the program that programmers do means that they might be more likely to possess some of the best tools they can get, it is misleading to think that they all do. When you're starting out as a programmer, all you will mostly need are basic text editing apps. Beyond these and learning resources, you will find that many programmers are not exactly users of factory-level infrastructure. Programmers know it all. Come on, let's admit it. We've all had those moments when we invited a programmer to fix an issue with our computer. We assume that because they are programmers, they are capable of fixing all the loose screws and software glitches in our device. We could even go as far as offering them our phones to look through for us. But programmers are not masters of all trades. It certainly is a perk if they are very handy and familiar with computers. But it does not imply that it is a general thing with programmers. Today, most programmers are very specialized. They do not engage with every subsector the trade has to offer, but instead focus on one, which is the area that they wish to improve in. Programmers are young people. Ah, another one that is completely wrong. Programmers are not always young people. In fact, in the United States, computer programmers who are aged above 40 number close to 70% of the total population. This shows that programmers are not the teenage nerds who have barely gotten out of high school. It's important to also say that if you have a passion for programming and would like to start, there is no better time than now to do so. Worry less about your age and focus on the excellent idea you intend to develop. Programmers are math geniuses. This is undoubtedly one of the most popular myths about programmers. Unlike regular people, programmers' ability to solve problems and do it excellently make them legends in the math world. But while having a great knowledge of math could improve your coding skills, most times you do not need to be good at it at all. Programmers are all men. Most of the programming industry is actually populated by men. However, this does not mean that women do not have the opportunities to become software developers themselves. Before the 21st century, some of the leading works in programming were done by women, compared to their male counterparts. Women are also more creative and better equipped to problem-solving abilities. There are also increasing opportunities for women in the tech industry today. They are loners. Here is another perception that is completely wrong. What many people do not know is that programming is by no means a one-man game and it requires communication to be done successfully. You will find programmers working in teams and interacting with superiors. They cannot do these if they have no social skills. There is increased emphasis today on the need for programmers to learn soft skills as only they will be able to write languages that are just the perfect fit. Bad eyesight. In people's minds, programmers and semi-blind rodents exist at fairly the same level of optical capability. Because movies have written off coders as folks that wear spectacles everywhere, it's now being seen as an extension of their bodies. Well, programmers are not endowed with poor eyesight. There are countless developers who can see just as much as the next guy. So every time you assume that that nerdy-looking guy in spectacles is a programmer, do well to think again. They are avid gamers. At this rate, we might just agree that programmers have every right to sue every single one of you for putting them in a box. And yes, I mean you. Spending much time with a computer does not translate to living your entire life in front of it. Not all programmers are dedicated lovers of video games. And like everybody else, they have hobbies they pass their time doing. Programming is all about code. Yes, a big part of programming is writing code. But no, that is not where it ends. 
Even as programmers write code, a lot of back and forth goes on between the developer and the client as they need to be sure that the product will work just fine. They do tests for bugs, try to increase speed, refine the whole process, etc, etc. The point is, writing code is only the initial part of the developer's journey. They still have more to do. So guys, that is the end of today's video. How many of these stereotypes have you been guilty of? Are there a couple that we did not mention? Drop your answers in the comments section. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you all in the next video.